Diamond for both of them. You know, if they miss their power spikes, then it's really difficult to keep up uh, in the game. With that Lissandra being picked out, that's the matchup that we expected. Uh, Mickey wasn't going to be looking for a gank there at an item disadvantage, but 3v3 now. All right, the death sentence already secures a flash. Mickey decides to flash forward over it. That's a lot of damage onto Memento. He's running for his life. Get hit by to safety. Now the Void Seeker comes out. First blood picked up by Perks. Better collapse there from G2. An excellent target selection there as G2 caught it out of the corner of my eye that Memento was in that jungle. Looked like he was about to get hit by Alistair and then I think reset his positioning there as top lane. Oh, flash. Defensive flash from Oda Wame. Wanda's just going to run him down. Requiem should be able to pick it up. And Wanda stands by to easily secure it. Now all of a sudden, that's the engage. No ultimate. Abadagi, you've got to press R. That's really important. Now, flashes for flashes. Teleport comes out. Memento is able to pick up the reply kill. Perks completes the teleport, but there's nothing more to follow up. And G2... Just say, hey, Garthus, you got your ultimate available? I don't need to dive. All right, no, you Speaking don't. But will upset need to dive. Are. Ignite is thrown down. Flash used defensively. Perks chases him down. It was a pixel perfect Void Seeker that interrupted the recall. And G2 Esports are starting to accelerate this game. I mean, across how you're going to handle, you know, that situation as we load back into game and G2 take the first track. Now, I really like Ocean Dragon when you're kind of like pre-8 oh, minutes. hype train for Schalke. You know, I see them as they just went into the finals. I'll hold the thought, though. All right, let's take a look. Wanda's going to get chunked down. Fear Beyond Death is available for Oda Wanda. He catches him through the shroud! And Akali players everywhere felt that one. There you go, Odo. I'm still on the hype train. Now, will the franchise player go down? Lantern is available. Not going to get caught. Not going to get found. Really? Upset does it. But take a look at this. Killer Instinct comes forward. Rick is available if it's needed. It's simply not needed. Shalka, they split the difference. Rift Herald picked up on top. They sacrificed their duo. And Abedage completes the teleport as well. This is just going to be gifted to G2 Esports. And an excellent turret aggro juggle right there that they get three for nothing as well as the tower. Age. Another fight. There is some support for Memento. But it's just... That's the level of, of teamwork that was not shown yesterday. Yesterday, Shalka were on the same page, same, you know, uh, uh, a strategy. And I'll finish the thought in a moment as Oda Wamne gets jumped on, and he might just be caught down. Pulled backwards by some infernal chains, and he does get taken out. Now, oh, this is cheeky. This is cheeky. Oh. What? No one move. Ladies and gentlemen, you if you never want to fall behind this composition because its team fights are so strong, but they're going to try. All right, let's take a look. Mickey throws down his ultimate, blocking Good a lot pick. of damage for now. Lantern is available. The Mentor goes oh. in. Fear Beyond Death is dodged away from, and that is just a melted Urgot. Caps isn't done yet. He fancies himself a shot. He's gone in 1v4. Requiem starts to channel, and boom! Yankos gets himself another. It's 10 kills to 2, and Caps gets out with his life. It's not done yet. Yet, you really wanted to bring up today I was talking about how G2 Esports have this huge threat in the flexibility of their players, the depth of their respective team. Every team in the league, a free tip. Ben Yankos' Karthus. Let's see whether or not anyone does next week. For now, though, Mickey will be going down. Just caught a little bit out of position. Good warding from Schalke allows them to punish the overextend. And it is a small solace, but they need a lot more of those to claw back this deficit. And again, if we're focusing on good aspects of Shaka, although, again, I'm going to have to hold it. Let's we're take fighting. a look. Perks has got the Hurricane, he's got the Storm Razors, and he's got himself another assist. It was, in fact, Caps. That's now 5-1-2 and two with a 700 gold bounce. I don't think it's going to end there, Trevor. Wonder is being headed off by Ignar. I think he changed his mind. Wonder, like, turned around, gave him Isaac, and I was like, I'm sorry, sir. I think he would blow Ignar up with one rotation, oh, no. especially because Yankos has got Requiem available. The box goes down, the flay's been used, Abadagi is coming in with the ultimate, death sentence goes wide, but the re-engage from Wanda picks up Ignar. Requiem's not even been used yet, and look at the claw of doom. Abadagi escapes with his life, upsets trying to turn this one around, but you need to kill Yankos and stay healthy enough to survive the ultimate. Not gonna go down just you. whoa! Yankos kills upset, I didn't think that was gonna happen and give us a memento for free because G2 get another one. Ladies and gentlemen, Odo Amne was joining his team, but like lambs to the slaughter. Shelka being killed. Perks has got the red buff, and oh, this just feels a little bit bad. Going to run him down with that rage blade. Here comes Mickey. Here comes Mickey. Gets the head buff. Pulverize. 
and Caps is in behind as well. I am starting to feel a little bit dirty. Shelka have family. Shelka have friends. G2. Yeah, so and there's the Baron setup. Yeah, and of course Ignar is three, four autos, five, about six or seven autos. Plus a couple of Ikathian rain shots in there, easily run down. Difference. Oh, it's so difficult. That's Thousand... must take to create and neutralize this map for them. All right, let's take a look. Teleport being channeled on this inner turret. Perks is trying to turn the damage around. Remember, this is kind of a two on three, but Shelka didn't fully commit. Now Memento is running for his life. Perks jumps in with the killer instinct. Yes, a death sentence lands, but it sentences it not to death. The box comes out and G2 are between two turrets. Easily going to set up yet another kill for Wanda. That's a double for him. 19 kills to four. And Schalke are now losing their base. Um, Froskuren, I do need to tell you I'm ever the optimist. Okay, so I have to try and look at the silver lining here I've for Schalke. really bad news for you. <laughs> okay. I think the game's about to end, Trevor. <laughs> but... Schalke are going to learn a lot from this particular moment um, because really it just fell away from them entirely. The Nexus turret is falling. The kills are not done yet. The franchise man upset is down. And before 24 minutes, G2 had won the game. Just after 24 minutes, they killed the Nexus. And when is anyone finally going to challenge G2 and make them show us something? We haven't gotten to see their, their huge macro performance or them really stretch in the draft. It's just the mechanical talent. They take any match that they want. They got solo kills that felt like across the board, 2v2 kills on the bot side, 1v1 kills in both uh, top and mid lane. They don't even have to try to win these games. No, they don't, and it, it does leave a lot to be desired. Uh, G2, the team that is expected to be in the final with this big change, <laughs> They played to their expectation, arguably surpassing them. After yesterday's performance from Schalke, I'm a little sad to see crumble, but I also understand that the team compositions were very much stacked that if you didn't get ahead, it was going to be tough to catch back up. And 